Hi guys, Gretchen is on my desk. Yes, Gretchen actually cannot sort of close up anymore. I can still close her. Yes, it will work, but she is, yes, she's full. She's absolutely full. So I'm going to do one last thing with Gretchen. What I'm going to do, I'm going to do the finishing touches. Yeah, I have some of these that I made the other day with my new freebie. And I think they will work perfectly with this journal. So I'm going to put uh, some of these bits and bobs in. I still have these two tickets um, made from the file folder. I want to add Mabel. Yes, the postcard that we made. I think she'll work really well with this. Then I have all of this. I'm, I cannot add everything. But let's just see. There is an envelope in here from the Tim Holtz uh, die cut set. Collector part chapter 3. Um, I do want to make one more envelope in here i made a window in it do i still have the piece of acetate hopefully i do so i'm gonna make uh, an envelope gonna stamp on it put something nice in i have this whole piece left i think i want to add a couple of pieces of paper to sort of journal on gonna be doing some stamping i have a couple of these bits and bobs left maybe i'll use some of this we're gonna finish her today yes okay Let's get started. I'm going to start with the envelope. Now, let me quickly check if I still have the piece of acetate in here that I cut out especially for this journal. Hello, little piece. Yes, it's here. It's here. I found it. I found it. So I'm going to have a piece of acetate on the inside. It is too big. I need to cut it off for you a, a little bit. Because no, use your paper trimmer. That works much nicer with acetate. Just taking a bit off. Again, guys, for acetate, look for overhead sheet, um, overhead projector sheets. I think you can maybe even find these on Amazon or in a, you know, an office supply uh, store or I don't know where you buy it. I found mine in a thrift shop. A whole a whole pack of them. It was still too big. This is good. Yeah. And then you have acetate, beautiful one, very sort of heavy one, yeah. Um, I'm not going to glue it on just yet. I'm going to distress this first, yeah, with all sorts. All sorts. Do we want coffee? No, I'm not going to the coffee machine. Well, nearly, because the big coffee machine is behind me. Don't drink coffee. My husband Tim does. So she has this sort of big luxury coffee machine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah he's the only one that uses it okay this is the outside so i need to do some sort of splattering like so i'm gonna do this yeah i'm gonna go vintage photo today guys just the in-between color it's not the dark one and not the light one Okay. Oh, I'm just going to go all over it. I'm going to go do this and this. Why not? Here, here, and then also some coffee here. It's going to be coffee everywhere. Very interesting. Very interesting. Gonna clean this later. Cool. Splattering. Yes, of course we're gonna do some splattering. I still need something underneath. We're gonna do splattering a different color. Yes. Yes. Brown espresso. I don't know how much of this will actually show up, but. That's the fun part. Most of the time, that's the fun part. I'm going to do some splattering. Will it show up? Who knows? Who knows? Nobody knows at this point. Okie dokie. Also going to do some inking all around the edges, of course. Um, oh, let's do ground espresso. We have this one out, so why don't we? I'm going to try to do the inside, the sort of frame as well. So, 
I hope you've been enjoying this series. This is like the most fun project that I've did in ages. Absolutely love it. Very proud of the end result. Uh, yes, I'm doing another one. I'm doing another one. Uh, Gunter. Gunter. I'm going to have a poll. Uh, I'm going to try to have a poll in, on my community uh, page on YouTube where you, can, where you guys can uh, vote for who Gunter is. I have two photographs. Gonna show you later. Yes. I found two sort of gentlemen. Are we gonna fold it? Yes. I'm not gonna fold it in. Two gentlemen who could be Gunters. They look sort of look like Gunters. This doesn't fold very easily, I must say. Bone folder? Anywhere? Sure. I'm thinking, am I going to have it on like so as a pocket? I think that is nice. Don't know yet, don't know yet. But I will need to ink this bit. But I might have it as a pocket. And there we go. Done. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, now first we need to glue on the acetate. For this I am using, of course, art glitter glue. Picking all the dust off. Here we are. I'm not gluing too close to the edge because if I'm going to push the um, acetate down, it will smudge all over it. So I need to put it a little bit removed from the edge. Yes. See, when I push it, push it down, the glue sort of spreads. And if you glue it too close to the edge, the glue will spread over the, the sort of window that we've created. I'm going to let this dry for just a sec, guys, to be really, really sure that it's on there. I was thinking, do we want to put a robin on there? Yeah. Shall we do uh, a Tim Holtz robin? Because I have loads of those. Well, I don't have loads of those. I have these. I have these. Do you want to do this? Well, it's there, so why not? There we go. Cut it out first with, you know, scissors. gonna do the stick comes with it there you go there you go that's the top right yes that's going to be is it yes that's going to be the top i'm going to have it on like so Hoping it will work. Probably will. Let's see. Is it working? Yes. Yes. Ooh. Oh, looks nice. Yes, it looks nice. We're going to have a card in, uh, guys. Yeah. So, um, now I can glue these down. Am I going to do it like so or like so? I'm going to do it like so. Yeah. I think the nice thing would be, ooh, that's glue. Why is there glue there? Don't, don't, don't. It's 
on. I think the nice thing would be to have it sort of over the page like so. Let's pretend that this is one of the pages and then have it as a sort of flip out. Yeah? Yes, we're going to do it in that way. Art, what's going on with you, love? I think I need to open it up. Take some of the pressure off and I'm closing it back up again. Yes? Yes, that worked. That worked. Cool. Okie dokie. What are we going to put inside? Well, first I'm going to stamp something there. Taking out sample. Um, register. That looks interesting. It needs, it needs a little something. What's this register? Yeah. That's actually a perfect fit. A stamp block. Does this fit? Just. It just fits. I am using uh, fallen leaves. Fantastic. We want something else. Maybe a small number there. Did this one have a small number? It says numero, but it's not, but it's not number. How about the other one, for example? Oh yes, this has more has more numbers on them. Random number. There you go. Yes. Yes, now it's done. We need to have a card inside here. I was thinking, will one of these fit? Yes. I'm just going to have this one in here. Do we want to have something here? Of course we do. Of course we do. You even need one there. Um... Something I have not used before. This one. 17 something. No, 74, 82. Well, I'm telling you guys, the number 47 is the most popular number in the world. Well, it's the most common number in the, in the world. I see it everywhere. Once you pay attention to it, you see it everywhere. Well, that piece is finished. It's finished. There's another piece of um, ephemera in here that I need to finish. I have an altered paper clip in here. In the back. I made this in, a, in another video in the 100 day uh, project. Lovely on the front. But I did not finish the back. I just didn't. I just didn't. Um, I'm thinking just put something lovely on. One of these sort of label thingies. think that's just enough don't you think i think so so i'm go just gonna put this label on i think i'm gonna use all of them up in this in this journal oh i just love them so much they are so cool have it on straight lovely yeah there you go so um let's quickly take out the page that I had this in mind um, I want to have this on this page yeah I'm gonna have this on the back and then this on the front I'm gonna put it a little bit lower towards the bottom and then I'm also gonna use something else that I made uh, Mabel yes this is one of the postcards I'm gonna put Mabel on or I'm gonna put this on I think I'm gonna put this on yeah really cool oh in that case i can move it up a little bit higher have both of the images on yes beautiful and then on the back you have this win-win situation you could put something 
something behind here something like um a piece of paper to write on so i'm just going to put this uh, uh coffee dyed index card here yeah so speaking of pages a pa piece of paper to write on i have these that i really want to sort of include in the journal i have a pocket here and i'm thinking i'm just gonna fold this in this one like so and just put it in I think it looks nice yes do we want to have a label on top here something of course we do i'm just gonna have this one on oh my word daisy you are snoring so loud lovey you're like an old man I don't think I'm going to put anything else on. This is actually from a Tim Holtz sort of ephemera pack. And I thought the, the color was fantastic with this. Yeah, so just going to I just put it here. You can journal on the back. Does need something here though, doesn't it? Yes, so I think I'm going to put this here. I'm telling you, I'm going to use all of these. <laughs> these are so fantastic. Just as small little uh, embellishment pieces. Just over there. Um, envelope. Shall we do the envelope here? Yes. Oh, that looks cool. That looks cool. So I'm just going to put some glue here. Yes, not on the top because we can also have it as a sort of a talk spot. Uh, let's see how this would work. Like so, and then gluing it over. Yes, see, you can flip it out, take something out, have something on the bottom. Who knows, we want something here. I want a small label of something. Small label of something. Or half a label. Oh, let's do half the label. That's been in here a while. Yes. It looks really cool. I don't think I want to do any more decorating here. Not here, not here. I have this whole page. I think I'm going to have this as sort of a writing spot, right? Or what I could also do is add another writing spot. Don't know. Don't know yet. I'm thinking about this one. I need to decorate this. I'm going to have something lovely on here. Another one of these, yes, and then and let's see more field notes, like so. A little bit of a splatter stamp in the background, yes. Yep, yep. It's gonna go over here and this is gonna go like so. Yeah. Just, you know, some touches here and there. Because oh, why not? Yeah. In case, guys, you haven't seen this video, this is a freebie. Well, this is part of a freebie. It's a freebie and then I did all sorts of lovely stuff to it. Do you want this inked? Yes, so we do. Just a bit. Okay, though, what do we have here? A nice, lovely pocket. I want to put a piece of paper in. That's ground espresso. Um, I'm going to put this one in, fold it. Just so you could use it. But then it does need something in the background, doesn't it? Yeah. It just does. I 
Don't know about this one. I really don't know about this one. However, I think I want to have this over here, but with rounded corners. I'm going to try four first, the smallest setting. Could have used glue stick, I know. Eighteen eighty three, eighteen sixty eight. <laughs> this is already done. Um, no, I'm gonna leave this as is. Uh, I also have a couple of these left. Oh, do we have another pocket somewhere? Oh, yes, here. I'm just going to put these in. I'm not going to do anything to them. Because you might want to decorate them later. Putting another piece in, like so. Yeah. Why not? And you can also sort of um, journal on the back. I did some stamping on the other side. And it, it just sort of uh, peeks through. See? But I, I do like it. It's okay. I don't mind it. There we go. Lovely, lovely. Needs this. Just behind here. Yes. You flip this up. Then you have a beautiful sort of writing space here. Well, a little bit of writing space. Pe petite correspondence. <laughs> oh, I just love this one so much. I think it will peek out. If I close it up. Yes, it will peek out. Perfect. Perfectly done, love. This is done. This is done. Um, I want to add sort of a writing space thingy here. Uh, but I want to embellish it a little bit. It's an old piece of paper from a ring binder. Um, yeah, it's completely yellowed and such. So I'm not going to add a lot to it. I, I'm thinking about adding this. The bigger one? The smaller one? Oh, let's do this. Yes. And um, I have this piece left to make sort of a tap with. I'm going to have a tap. Sort of like so. Yeah, and uh, maybe something. Yeah, I think so. I think I'm just gonna do it. What I'm also gonna do, I'm gonna attach it with a um, tiny attacher. Yes. Gonna have this stick out a little bit. I just find that more interesting. Yes. And then I'm gonna have this over it, just like so. With this one. Yeah. Yes. Um, tiny touch. Well, I have the Heidi Swap one. Did it go through? Yes. See, just just interesting. It's just interesting. Uh, but where will we fit it? Because there are a couple of uh, pages on here that are still blank. I can put it here with a paper clip. Or I'm thinking I'm going to put it here. Yes, I'm going to put it here. And then I'm just going to add it. I have this as a tab. With a very small uh, paper clip. Like so. Just this. Do we need this? No, we don't. I don't think so. No, I'm going to have it like so. Um, also found this lovely small envelope. This is from a Tracy Fox um, set. Digital kit. Yeah. 
And I think I want to have this open on that side. Funny enough. <laughs> Yes, and attaching it Oh, we need something here Where did I think I could sort of put it? Oh yeah, here But will this show Or like so I'm gonna have it like so Yeah, inking it first Uh, glue here. Yes. And then... Glue here. Yes, we're going to put something on top of it. Of course we are. Like so, then it flips open. This is not gonna close anymore, guys. <laughs> I'm afraid it won't close anymore. That's okay. Something extra, maybe a stamp. We should have stamped before you put this on, but I know, but you know, that's just me. Oh, let's do this one. Received something. Hopefully it will work. Uh, a small stamp block, please. Uh, I'm going to do this with ground espresso. Yes. Done. Let me keep this as is. Are you? Because this needs something. That sure needs something. Oh yes, it does. It needs lot number nine seven something something. How are we gonna do this? Well, you should have done it before you glued it on, love. I'm gonna use vintage photo for this. Um, yes. I'm going to take out this, just to put behind here. Sort of worked. Sort of worked. I have more of these. <laughs> I also want to put these somewhere. Num, num, num. This is cool. This is cool. I needed to put something here. Are you sure you want to use all of these? Don't you have something else that you really like? Oh yes, I have this one. Yeah. You want to clip it on? I'm just going to clip it on. I have more of these paper clips, right? Yes, I have a couple of them. Just going to clip this one on. Mm. Don't know, don't know, don't know. Yes. And then you can sort of journal on it. We did this, we did this, this. Yes, we need something here. I'm just thinking to make uh, another sort of pocket out of this one. Yeah? Yeah. Let's have this in the pocket. It was just lying here on my desk, so why not? Yep. Done, 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 done. This is the flip thingy. Gonna keep it like so. We have this one, this one. Do we need anything? Maybe another correspondence. Yes.
another correspondent one. Yeah. Actually, this was a pocket, right? Did I put this as a pocket? Yes. Do we have anything to put in here? Well, we have this one. There you go. Pocket. We have this, we did this, we did this. I'm not, am I touching this? Yes, because I'm doing this. <laughs> Yes, this is done, this is done, this is done. And then the bag. Um, what I need to do, guys, is um, distress the bag for just a tiny bit. And I have these couple of things left. I'm looking for... Oh, um, can I put them in here? Yes, you can. I'm going to put these in here. I'm going to stick this one on somewhere. Where? Don't know. Don't know. Don't know. Don't know. Oh, I have something here. Help me out, guys. No. No, no, no. You weren't going to touch this. Oh yes, we're going to have it here. Oh, I have one more piece. The loveliest one. This one. You need to put that somewhere, love. I know. Can we stick it here? Yes, we can. Duck spot. Done. Done, guys. I'm going to um, try to distress the back for a little bit. Put something in. What? Oh, I have this one. That looks awesome. Uh, and then we need to have a flip through. Yeah. Here she is. Gretchen in all her glory. Uh, it, it just fits. <laughs> it doesn't really fit. But that's okay. It just shows how much fun we had uh, making this beauty. Yes, my grunchy field notes journal owned by Gretchen so we call her Gretchen I just love her yes with all the stamping and um, I did some sort of um, grounding it up on the on the back made a lovely card to go inside here as well put this on because I had that lying around so so why not well when we open it up she sort of explodes <laughs> there we go Uh, lucky Gretchen is uh, in the front. And this is her. Yes, this pocket. Did we put anything in the pocket? No. Do we still have anything? Oh, uh, well, I'm going to have like uh, a blank one in here. For now. Just for now. Do we have anything else lying around? I have so much stuff still lying around, guys. Uh, scrappy of the strippy as well. Yes, we got to fill that pocket up. We need to fill it up. Oh, let's put um, another one of these in. Just a couple of pieces, yes, to play with. A beautiful sort of vintage um, atlas page. It's a map. We have this cute little sort of embellishment here. Yes, and we open it up. You can open it up. It has a couple of these uh, bits and bobs left. And we have this page with the double pockets. Yes, with the tags. So lovely, right? Yeah, really, really do like them. And then on this page, I just added this because why not? Why not? I just love the numbers. Doesn't need anything. Then it has a pocket. This has a pocket here with a tag that we made. And then you flip it up like so. Yeah. And you can have a little bit of a correspondence here. Small correspondence. Because that's what it says on this label. And then on the other side, again, flip this up. Can do all sort of writing if you are a journaler, all around it. Then we have a pocket from this beautiful, a sort of antique ledger type of paper with another lovely tag in here and one of these labels. I just added a small label here. Then uh, this is another project that I made with a small um, envelope stuck, uh, stuck together. But however, I need my ink. 
um it was too it was too long <laughs> i already glued it on and then it was too long it didn't close anymore so i just snipped a bit off that's okay see don't, you don't even notice it then i put these um elizabeth craft designs labels in i kept them as is because well maybe you want to do something for yourself and then this lovely big one yeah oh i love this page yes and you can flip this around an interactive page very old uh it's from 1961 envelope isn't that gorgeous yeah and then on the other side i added this because i had it lying about with the number in here and a lovely card i think this is also from a tim holtz pack um, with a tag that we made you can do all sorts of stamping here decorating yeah you can do some journaling here we made this pocket beautiful sort of torn pocket with another card yeah with the backing paper so cool did some sewing yes did some sewing then on the other side we have this one a sort of a flip open this is the center with an antique magazine sort of heading or title or what have you uh, from 1868 it's so beautiful with a flippy yes and on the other side uh, we made a pocket put something in Another, po uh, another pocket made from these um, small little envelope embellishments. Put a label here and then another piece of paper to write on. Yep, it's already lovely. Doesn't need anything. Doesn't need anything. Another part of the envelope. So there's a pocket, uh, pocket here and a small tag. Yep. And we decorated it. With these lovely ones. Yes, doesn't need any decorating. Yes, love. Jackson wants to join in. And we made this one. Um, you just clip it off and have this as a lovely sort of journal spot. Or something you want to embellish. You want to say hi, lovey. And then this is the flip. It should be a flip up. But now it's a flip down. See? Oh, I love this one. You flip it down. There's another card in here. That we made and lots of journal space i added another label over here yes pocket here with a lot this is my favorite tag that we made isn't it lovely just love 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 love, love it and the envelope that, that we made with a, a small a little piece of um um what did we make yes labels so cute right yeah just love it and you can add more. Well, you can't add more because she's completely full. Yes, and we use this as sort of a talk spot with a little piece of correspondence. <laughs> we had um, a pocket here. So I added something over here. And you can open this up. Hopefully you've seen this video. That was a fun one. You open this up and then you open this up because there's all sorts of loveliness inside as well. Great, right? Yeah. And with the upside down bug. Yeah. Good thing it's on the inside. <laughs> yep, let's tie this one up again. Then on the other side we have a pocket. I put something in from Tim Holtz. An envelope. I did stamp something here because it was just missing something. With a very old piece of paper inside. And this is a coffee dyed envelope. A vintage envelope. Um, because it had this a sort of room for a postal code. Postal area or zip code or whatever. We put this here, then the altered paper clip with an altered antique postcard. It goes so well with this um, journal, I think. Yes, I believe these people are sort of the same era. The Gretchen's friends, yeah, it's, you know, story behind everything. And then we just put this here because already lovely. Another piece of paper to write on. This is, I think, the first sort of project that we did that we did for the journal. And my absolute one of my favorites. You take this out. Yes, it's a slide that you can sort of flip up, flip over. Lovely tag. And then an index card. We made a pocket with a window. And when you put this in, you can flip this one over. Like so. And then there's another po little pocket here with an another lovely tag. Yep. And I just, you know, grunged up the background um, a little bit, the back cover. That's it. Are we in love with her? I I love her so much. I don't know if I can part with her. 
um, I know there's uh, one of my friends said, if you're ever going to sell her, I want her. Uh, and I promised her, if I'm ever going to sell her, it is yours, lovey. It is yours. But I don't know if I can. I don't know if I can. Now, guys. Um, yes, this is, this is the end. But every end needs a, needs a new beginning. So we're going to do Gunter. I'm going to show you first. Uh, I'm going to make Gunter from this lovely old sort of brown file folder. Yes, it's going to be very similar to this one, but way bigger because... I didn't expect to have this much fun with the journal. So this one is going to have a spine for sure. And probably some flippy floppies. I don't know. We're going to do something different. But then these. These are the candidates. These are the candidates for Gretchen. Gunter A. Gunter B. Yeah. Um, in my opinion. They're maybe a little bit too young for Gretchen. But... Uh, I guess uh, she's like me. I'm also into younger men. <laughs> so it's gone to A or gone to B. Let me know. Uh, I'm going to try to do um, a sort of a poll, I, but, but I don't know how those work. But I'm gonna I'm gonna try. So gone to A and uh, gone to B. Yes, perfect. Guys, that's it. That's it for today, and that's it for Gretchen. Bye, Gretchen. We love you. We all love you. I hope to see you again tomorrow with another video, and uh, very soon we're going to uh, we are going to start with uh, another sort of field note slash travel journal. I want to do it a little bit different, more travel than specimen cards type. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see how we'll go. I hope to see you tomorrow. Bye, guys.